I've got here the Victron Blue IP22 Smart Charger, which is a 12 volt, 30 amp output, and it supports charging most battery types, including lithium ions. And in this video, I'm going to take you through actually connecting it up. Um, this one doesn't have output cables built into it, so we're gonna attach those cables, and then we're going to connect it to my Voltex Lithium 100 amp hour battery here and see how it works. First up, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver for this. Once you're ready to go, you can take this cover off just by pulling forwards on that, not a line clip, uh, and then that reveals our terminals here are positive and negative. So we'll need a cable that has unfinished ends, so they're just looking something like this with just the uh, copper exposed and not like these ones that have terminal hooks on them. So these are just going to slot straight into these terminal holes here and we're going to screw them in. So we've got screws, Phillips and screws in the top there. Now for these, we'll just slide that in. And there we go. We've now got cable connected. This one, I've already got my terminal ends ready to go for hooking up to the battery. Uh, so that's good. We should be nice and sturdily wired in. We shouldn't have any exposed wires that are likely to be a problem from our copper core. And then we can go ahead and put this little cover back on. So that'll slot into those little grooves and basically just clip straight back on the way it came off. Now we have it. Now we're all good to go ahead and connect up to our battery. So what we want to do here is basically unscrew our terminals. Now you might need a wrench to do this or a screwdriver depending on the actual terminals and how tight they've been done up in the past. So I'm just going to undo both of those. And we want to hook up our positive first. So basically I'll put that on there and we can Screw that one in, and I'll just finger tighten it to start with. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing with our negative terminal. So you might notice I do have a fuse on this going to the positive. Uh, it's just to be on the safe side, the smart charger does already have a fuse built into it anyway, but it doesn't hurt to be extra careful. So that's it. We're now connected up to our battery coming out of our Victron smart charger here. All right, so plug that in now and it should automatically select the appropriate mode for this battery and commence charging. So we've got some lights coming on here now. I'm going to use the mode button to switch it and make sure it is selected. So we've now got that one chosen here and it should go ahead and charge this battery up. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.